All right, I am back with some more Banner Lord, and today we are going to be continuing the Yang Cheng series. So last time we set out on the mission of tearing up the clan. The Golden Phoenix is now a clan tier 2. This now means we can go up to 85 men, but the problem is the grind to tier 3 is even bigger than the grind to tier 2. So it was decided there was no way we can get 200 renown just farming quests. The only way we can get that kind of renown is by going to war. We need to take down bigger armies than us to start pulling in all that renown. So it was decided we are going to join the Yan dynasty. The goal is to one day be the ruler of the Yan dynasty and take back all that was lost. We were the rightful eight, so it is only fair that we reclaim our kingdom. So we're going to join them as a vassal, take some of the land, and once we're ready, we will turn on them, start a civil war, and the kingdom will be ours. There is something I would like to discuss. I would like to enter your service, my friend. And here we have it on the 11th day of spring, 1085. The Golden Phoenix has joined the Yan Dynasty. Look at them. What they don't know is we will turn on them. I will retake my throne. We have been given these troops as a reward for joining them. And they're pretty good. <laughs> we will take all of them, my friend. We have also been given this two-handed pole arm. This body armor. And a new armor for our horse. We won't complain. We will take anything they're willing to give us. Alright. We are now officially part of the Yan dynasty. It looks like we're at war with these to the left over here. And we have an army sieging a castle. If we can actually make it in time. This would be great. This would be a good opportunity to earn a bit of renown. Oh, never mind. The castle was taken before we could even get there. I didn't even manage to cross the river. As we are the newest member of the clan and we have no land, they are giving us the castle that they just took. Our castle is instantly being sieged and our villages are burning already. Great. <laughs> Alright, well, we are at the settlement down here and there is the castle that we have just been given. If we work our way up the road, we can stop at each of these villages that are burning, kill whoever's burning them, and we should be able to earn some renown that way. In terms of the castle itself, it has over 600, well, it has about 600 defenders. So I'm hoping the castle can hold. Alright, the first of the villages is being burnt down by a guy with 150 men. Alright, you know what, lads? We are gonna go for it. We are outnumbered, but it is a village battle. So if we position the men correctly, we should be able to hold them back. That's the hopes anyway. <laughs> but think of the renown we could earn. Alright, this is it, men. This is it. We have pincered ourselves in this little corner here. So all of the men are compact together. Whether that will work in our favor or not, who knows. Oh, man. I'm hoping the range can do some damage. But to be honest with you, the position that we're at, they're not at a very good angle. All right, men, we're going to have to attack, lads. We have no choice here. They are firing at us and they are not attacking us. So we have to take the fight to them. Oh, no. This is not good at all, lads. I won't lie. This has fallen apart. <laughs> this has fallen apart. Infantry, group up, lads. Do not split in half to battle the cavalry. Do not split in half, I repeat. Alright, men. Forward march. Forward march and attack. They've just formed a firing line on us. Cut them down. Just attack. We're using this pole arm we've been given. I don't know why. We're not exactly trained in the pole arm. Oh, no. Oh no, lads. I don't know what's going on. Are we winning? Are we losing? I don't know. Was it stupid of us to challenge them? Probably.
Oh no, I just watched one of my own men get cut down in front of me. This is not good. <laughs> this is not good at all. This guy's swinging faster than me. Back off. We're still putting up a fight. I don't know how well the fight is actually going, to be honest with you. I just know that somehow we're still alive. For how much longer, I cannot say. Really, we managed to friendly fire in that group. We still have a lot of horse archers running circles around us, which isn't good. I have like a million javelins and arrows porking out of me, which also isn't good. Have we done it? Have we somehow come out the victor? I don't know how we pulled it off, but the enemy are on the run. It is only the handful of cavalry left. Oh no, we shot another teammate. Alright, this, this isn't going well. We will just put the crossbow away. I'll leave it to the men to clean up. Alright, well, after that fight, we got 34.6 renown. That is a lot more than we were earning elsewhere. There is literally no other way we could have got renown like that. Although, it came at the cost of only five men. Everyone else is wounded? What? <laughs> Are you serious? There was 150 enemies and only five of my men actually died. Alright, well, we managed to win the fight, but it does mean we need to rest up. So, we're going to head back to this settlement, sell the prisoners we just captured, sell some of the battle loot, and we should be good to go. Alright, the men have recovered. We have nearly fully healed. It is time to go to war once again. Although, that being said, while we were resting up, the faction declared war on these to the north. Whether we will actually go attack them, I'm not too sure, but our castle is still being sieged, so we still need to head up this way and see what's going on over here. Ah, I see. That is quite the army. There is a thousand of them pinning in about 600 in the castle. And the attack has begun. The enemy are losing men. Although the defenders are being taken out, the enemy might actually do this, but they will lose a lot of men in the fight. This is going to be interesting, lads. Will they pull it off? The lords are gathering on the sidelines, but it's just not enough. Oh, hold on. More people are showing up. Let's get them, boys. The backup has arrived. Oh, man, there is a fog out there. We can't see a thing, but the Yan Dynasty is ready to go to war. I kind of like the way the men are all lined up like this. We're all neatly organized. We are being shot at, which isn't good, lads. There's a lot of horse archers just absolutely nailing us. Wait, hold up. I'm issuing the commands of all the men? Why am I controlling everyone? This, this shouldn't be like this. <laughs> I thought I'd only be in charge of my own men. Oh, no. No wonder the men are just standing there doing nothing. Apparently, I am commander of the entire battle. All right, footmen, get ready. The enemy are about to arrive. Attack. Just attack. Archers. No, don't charge. Do not charge. Oh, no, this is all falling apart, lads. Who put me in charge of this? Who decided I was fit enough to command the entire Yan Dynasty? Archers, I want you to space out. That's what I want. I don't want you to charge the front lines. Alright, that's it, men. Pincer them in. They got nowhere to go. We heavily outnumber them. We also have a new sword we can test out. And swipe. We we missed. That That's a bit awkward.
There we go. We killed a man in one hit. That's what I like to see with our new sword, lads. Alright, well, it looks like we have won this battle, but the question is, why was I commander of the entire army? Why did they trust me of all people? Usually, if you're just a single army fighting in a battle, you only get to control your own men. Let's just kill the Bannerman. Why not? Lower their morale a bit. We can't have them waving their flag around the place. Although that being said, we are epically failing right now. Come on. There we go. All right. Well, the Yan Dynasty has come out the winners this day. As for the renown that we're going to earn, I'm not too sure because we did outnumber them two to one. So that will uh, lower the amount of renown. We only got three renown from that fight. It's as I said, we heavily outnumbered them and stuff. So overall, it was kind of pointless. Although we did protect our castle. So I guess it wasn't truly pointless. And we have captured the king. Alright, well, as we have defeated their main army, it is time to move on. They are now burning one of our villages. So if we can trap them in a village fight once again... That might be a good bit of renown. We had like 35 renown from it last time. So hopefully we can get a similar amount. Alright, there's 177 people raiding this village. But we have to defend our land. Think of the renown we can get. We will be known all across the world if we can defeat this 177 army. All right, we have positioned ourselves nicely on this hill. We've got the crossbowmen firing away this time. Unlike last time where they just kind of stood there doing nothing. We need to kill as many as we can before they reach our front lines. I don't know how well that's going to go. We are killing a few of them right now. So overall, it's going better than last time, I'll say. Cavalry. Cavalry. Attack their horse archers, lads. Let's go charging over there and attack, will you? Their horse archers are a pain. Just attack. Oh, no. Infantry, do not charge. Infantry, back in position. Oh, no. We've done it again, lads. We have done it again. Oh, man. We are a terrible commander. Fair play. We are terrible. The enemy cavalry has decided to engage us in combat. Well, that was a good idea or not? I don't think it was, buddy. Yeah, back off. <laughs> the enemy cavalry is still constantly doing charges into us, but they're losing men each charge. So eventually, they're just going to fall and we won't have to worry about them. As far as the enemy infantry go, they're on their way. They haven't quite arrived yet. But it won't be long, I don't think. They're a bit undecided on what to do. Sometimes they charge us, then suddenly they back off. Alright, men. It is time to engage in battle. We can't stand around here for much longer. The enemy are just going to keep firing at us. So we must attack. Alright, infantry. Attack. Cut them down, men. Cut them down. We are outnumbered, but that hasn't stopped us before. Just keep up the fight, men. Keep up the fight. We just tell all the men to attack and at this point we just hope for the best lads there's not much else we can do either the men win or the men die trying we can assist as much as we can 
The more we can cut down, the better, I guess. All right, there goes the infantry. Now it is the horse archers, the biggest pain in my life. There goes one of the cavalry. Can we get another one? Where do you think you're going, my friend? Where do you think you're going? Oh, we just jumped over his head. And that's another one taken down. We're doing it. We are doing it. <laughs> 177 of them we have just taken down in battle. I don't know how we managed to pull it off again, but we have. We only lost nine men. How do we keep pulling this off? <laughs> 47 wounded, so we are going to have to rest up, but at least they're still alive. 37.2 renown as well. Can't complain at that. And we have managed to survive the first of the wars. We have made peace with the Rablam kingdom. We get to keep our castle, which is also great, which just means we are only at war with these to the north. They've been sieging our castle for quite a while now, so I'm not too sure what's going on over there. But once we rest up and ready to go, I guess we march north and see what kind of trouble we can cause up here then. All right, the men are fully recovered. We are still healing, but we will heal along the way. You know what? Maybe it is time for the raided to become the raiders. We are going to raid the enemy. We are going to take all of our anger out on them for once. No more will we sit by passively defending our lands non-stop. We are going to be the aggressors. Give me all your supplies, men. Give me everything you've got. We've stole a single bag of grain. <laughs> well, that was a pretty simple raid. No one showed up. There was no villagers we had to kill. And we've stole all their iron. Alright, we have found an enemy lord, but he is a lot faster than us. I don't know how we're going to take him down. Although that being said, there is an army of 120 next to us, known as the Evil Flame. They're entirely cavalry. Okay, we're going to steer away from them. I don't want anything to do with them. Although on the plus side, that enemy lord has decided to attack a caravan, which means he is now in the open. Easy for the take-in. We'll just send in the men to deal with him. It's a bit of a quiet one, I won't lie, lads. We are just wandering through the enemy's land, and we're not seeing a lot of action. There's not many lords running around. There's there's nothing. <laughs> it's just dead over here. You know what, lads? We're in the middle of nowhere. Oh, no, their village has already been looted. Fair enough. I was going to say I'm about to steal their sheep, but someone has already beaten me to it, it seems. Well, all that running around with nothing happening, and then the dynasty decides to make peace with them. Fair enough, all we did was raid a village, and there was no one in that village. We just walked in, took their iron, and left. <laughs> that was our contribution to the entire war. But it seems to be all over now. We have no more wars left to take part in. So I guess we head on home. Hold on a minute. Another war is instantly broken out and my castle is being sieged? We were just at peace with everyone. What happened? In a matter of seconds, we are suddenly in another war. And my villages are already burning. My castle is being sieged. Some guy just walked past us with 80 men and we just let him stroll on by. Alright, buddy. You are not sieging my castle. So, we're going to take you out. I don't care who you are. You can be king of whatever. We are going to kill you either way. I am not losing the castle that we have just been given. Alright, come on buddy. You reckon you can win this fight? You outnumber us, so come fight us on the battlefield. Don't hide up there and expect us to come to you. 
You come to me. He's not going to come to us, lads. All right. We're going to have to march. All right. The enemy have positioned themselves just over this hill. You can see their banners in the distance. I'm not too sure how we're going to do this, to be honest with you. Maybe we attack from this side where there's a slight dip in the hill so we can see them clearly. That might be the best strat, to be honest. I'm just trying to get the best angle we possibly can without getting too close. Because if I march over that little hill there, we will be right in front of them and we won't have enough time to shoot at them before they attack. At least this way, we might be able to get a few ranged kills before they come charging us. Alright, the crossbowmen are firing, but they're firing at the cavalry over here. I was hoping they'll try and take down some of the infantry, but I guess not. Oh no, what have I done? I have unleashed the cavalry horde. Alright, my cavalry, engage in battle. We need to cut them down. Our six versus they are like 30. Okay, I think they're backing off. I think it was just an intimidation tactic, to be honest with you. That intimidation tactic did cost them a few men, which is great. <laughs> now they're on the move, changing their formation, which is also great. Because we're just going to keep firing away. We have all the time in the world. Okay, maybe not all the time in the world, but you know. We're a... Uh, we're not in a rush to go anywhere, lads. They seem to have just formed a huddle. Even the cavalry is just standing there. They're in one big ball. I, I don't know what the plan is. We're just going to keep firing away, as I said. All right, infantry. Just attack, lads. Just attack. Let's get this over and done with. Let's cut them down. The enemy king is trying to take my castle, but not on my watch. All the archers are weak from the fire they've been taking, so we're just one-hitting them all. Don't mind me, lads. Don't mind me. Just cutting you all down. Cutting you all down. <laughs> In terms of the infantry, I don't know how well the men are holding up. It seems okay, to be honest with you. We've taken a lot of damage from the ranged. Well, I think this might be another win for the Yan Dynasty, to be honest with you. Oh, we have actually been taken down, which is never good. Although that being said, it's pretty much over already. We can just hit the fast forward and the men will clean up and we are done. We did lose 20 men this time, which isn't ideal. I think it's because it was an open field. It was easier to cut us down. Whereas in the village fights, we just hide in an alleyway and pincer them all in. And it wasn't as much renown as the other fights. Again, it was slightly less numbers if you think about it. 130 compared to 150 and 170. But that is still a good bit of renown. And not only that, but we have captured the king himself. That's one way to start a war, eh? Capturing the most important enemy in the first battle. As a result, they are already willing to surrender, paying us 3000 a day. We should really take that offer, lads. We really should. That is a lot of money. But overall, it has been a pretty successful mission. In terms of renown, we are already up to 265. It's like I said in the beginning, the only way we were going to earn renown fast was by going to war. Soon we'll be tier 3, and once we're tier 3, we will go up to over 100 men, and we can start forming other parties and start expanding our empire, and soon the Yan dynasty will be mine. Even if I have to leave the kingdom and take all my land with me, and by all my land, 
I mean this single castle here. <laughs> but either way, it is going well. It is going well. We can't complain at the progress we've made so far. But that is going to be it for this part of the Yan Sheng series. As always, a big thank you to the Gwaggles members for your continued support. And if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, and until next time, see ya!